you came to cheer today because I am and always have been a super fan! <laughs> I'm telling you, the town I grew up in, we all rooted for the home team. We ate, drank, and slept. Orange. And whether we were there in the stands or watching from home, we cheered our hearts and our lungs out for our team. That's what's called kindness. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. And if you're wearing orange like me, you can expect some first class treatment. But if you're wearing blue, then that means you're a fan of that other team, our rivals. I can tell you what they're like. They're mean. They're cheaters. They eat broccoli. They're pretty scary. I've actually never met one in person, but that's what I've heard. I am not a fan. Not a fan. You know, if I saw someone on that blue team lying on the side of the road, you know what I'd do? I, I, I'm actually not sure what I would do. I'm not, I'm not sure. But today's Bible story will help us know what we should do. <sighs> Broccoli! <gasps> Of the week, we've been learning this month all about kindness, and it is so important. 
important to be kind to other people. I bet you guys have come up with some great ideas on how to show kindness to everyone around you. Kindness is important to God. We know that because it was mentioned in the Bible many times. In fact, today, we're going to talk about a story that Jesus told when he was here on the earth. Now, there's a lot of characters in today's story, and I keep trying to come up with ideas on how to put other characters in the stories for the video for you guys, and I've been running out of ideas. I mean, I've used action figures, I've used balloon people, I've used stuffed animals, I've even used me in different hats. But today, I'm going to try out another new app I just got. It is an animation app. So I'm going to use my amazing animation skill to make animated cartoon characters to help me tell the story today. And by amazing animation skills, what I really mean is, I just started doing this a couple days ago, so, you know, quickly slap together with no idea what I'm doing. But hey, it's going to be great! All right, so let's continue on with the story. We'll go back to Jesus when he told the story was at a time when he'd been teaching and all these big crowds kept gathering around to listen to him. The people had heard that Jesus had done miracles and healed people and they all couldn't wait to hear what it was he had to say to them. And it was making the religious leaders of the time a little nervous because they didn't believe Jesus was the son of God. And they did not like the fact that all these people just kept gathering around and following Jesus everywhere. So they kept trying to think of ways to trip Jesus up. In fact, one day, an expert in the law approached Jesus. Here he is. Hi there. And he asked Jesus a question. Teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus asked him what he thought the answer to that question would be. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Love him with all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. All right. And Jesus said that was the right answer. But this guy wanted to make himself look good for everybody watching. So he asked one more question. And who is my neighbor? Oh, that was a good question. So Jesus responded by telling him a story. This story is about a man who had been traveling along the road. There he is. Ah, oh, what a lovely day for a stroll. It is a good day for a walk. But as he was walking along the road, he was attacked by robbers and they beat him up and they left him there on the ground almost dead. Help. Oh. Someone help. So, now what was going to happen? Well, fortunately, for this man who was lying here almost dead, it wasn't long before someone came. You could see someone coming over the horizon. Who is it? Oh, it's a priest. Oh, a priest. It's a guy that works in a church. This should be a guy that'll surely help him, right? Oh, oh my. Oh. He didn't. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me the priest didn't even stop when he saw me lying there on the road? Hmm, I'm afraid not. You see, the priest didn't stop to help. In fact, when he saw the man lying on the ground, he passed over to the other side of the road so he could walk around quickly and ignore him lying there. But it wasn't long before another person started walking down the road. And this was, oh, it's a Levite. A Levite is another person that works in the church. It was kind of like a worship leader. Surely this one would stop and help the man, right? Ew. Oh. oh. No, he didn't help either. Hold on, what? Two church people did the exact same thing? They totally ignored me hurt on the side of the road? Are you sure this is a great story about kindness? Yeah, I'm sorry. Neither one of them helped. But don't worry, the story is going to get better. Because someone else was coming and it was a Samaritan. Um. I, I know, I know. Let me tell you something about Samaritans so you guys will understand. Back in those days, Samaritans were people that were 
kind of related to the Jewish people, but they had a lot of different ways of doing things, and they just, they didn't get along. Jewish people did not want to hang out around Samaritans. Samaritans did not want to hang out around the Jewish people, and that kind of liked it. But this Samaritan, when he came up and saw that this man was lying on the ground hurt, he helped. I'll help you. He got the man, bandaged him up, and put him up on his own donkey. Then he took him off to an inn. When he got to the inn, he got the man a room to stay in, and the next morning he gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, take care of this guy. I'll come back later, and I'll cover any more expenses he has. So, who was the neighbor in this story? Let's get back to that expert in the law that had asked Jesus in the first place. We'll look here in the Bible to see what they said. Jesus actually asked him, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? Well, the expert in the law said, the one who felt sorry for him. And Jesus told him, go and do as he did. It was pretty obvious from this story who the neighbor was, and it wasn't who they thought it would be. This story makes it very obvious that everyone we meet is our neighbor, whether they are like us or not. In fact, anybody who needs us to show the love of God to them, which is everybody, is our neighbor. That is whether they look like us, act like us, think like us, or even believe like us. They're our neighbor, and we should show kindness and God's love to them. So be kind to people who are different than you. Can you guys say that with me? Be kind to people who are different than you. And that will make this world a better place and show God's love to everyone by showing them how important they are. Guys, thank you for watching this story today. I hope you enjoyed my amazing animation skills. Well, the mediocre animation skills. I tried really hard. I did. So, I hope I see you guys next week. And before we leave, let's all go ahead and close in prayer. Will you bow your heads and close your eyes with me? Dear God, thank you so, so much for giving us Jesus to show us what kindness truly is. Help us remember to be kind to everyone even people who are different than we are. Help us to show them kindness and show them that you love them very much. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining us again today, guys. I hope I see you next week. Bye! Let's try a screen test. There you are. Hello. Hey, why do I sound like you? Oh, don't worry about that. This is just a screen test, so I'm doing your voice too. Huh, that's kind of weird. Um, what, what exactly is happening with my mouth right now? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I, I'm, I'm learning all this stuff right now. Oh, so do you have any idea what you're doing? Um, no, not really. Oh, great. In fact, there's a story that Jesus told in the Bible, and I forgot what I was going to say there. I did. It was something.